Here's an example of how a bank advisor creates professional friendship with a customer he had not spoken with earlier. He starts with a phone call, invites the customer in for a meeting to understand about the customer's needs and dreams, and that meeting ends up in yet another meeting where the bank advisor can present a solution for the customer. Dana Wilson speaking. Hi, I'm Brad Ingram, your bank advisor from John a Bank. Hi, Brad. I'm calling you to find out how I can be the best advisor for you. Is that okay with you? Well, of course. I'm not used to getting an offer like that. I would like to invite you for a meeting, either here at the bank or by phone or a web, to walk through your financial demands and dreams. Based on your demands and dreams, I will be able to calculate how this can be possible for you. How does that agenda sound for you? It sounds great. I hope I'm not going to find a lot of papers, though, because I, I don't really have time for that at the moment. Don't worry about that. If fulfilling your dreams requires papers from you, we will find out at the meeting. How does Wednesday next week at 2 p.m. fit in your calendar? Hmm. 3 p.m. would be much better. Is that possible? Yes, 3 p.m. is fine. We've set aside one and a half hour for the conversation. We will be fine. Is there any other person you would like to invite to? No, I'm single at the moment. Okay. And how do you want us to meet? I'll pass by your office. Great. I'll send you an email with booking for your calendar. That sounds good. See you soon then, and I'm looking forward to meet you. Me too. The customer Dana has now come to the bank to meet Brad. Welcome, and please have a seat. Thank you. I'm very happy that you wanted to see me, and I will do my best to listen to your demands and dreams, and, and later on calculate how that can be possible, both on short and long term. That sounds great. I've prepared an agenda for you, which you can see on the screen. It starts with you and what you would mostly like us to talk about. Then I will continue asking you questions about the different aspects of your life that has to do with money. This means where and how to live, transportation, family, job, leisure time, daily banking, savings in the moment, savings for retirement and coverage in case of accidents. If there are questions you cannot or do not want to answer, we will just continue. And at the end of the meeting, I'll summon up what we have heard needs calculation from my side. We'll then book a new meeting either here or by phone or web, where I can tell you about my calculations and you can choose what to do. How does that agenda sound for you? Sounds good to me. And interesting. I haven't given my financial situation for the future enough attention, I'm afraid. Oh, this is good timing then. What have you thought about that you would like to discuss with me? Not much. Only maybe that I've gotten a nice bonus and it's still on my checking account. Maybe I should do something about it. I've seen that you do have a lot of money there and it's actually on my agenda too. Anything else you'd like to discuss? No, not really. Okay. I'll take your bonus into my final calculation when the meeting's over. The first question I would like to ask you is about how to live. What are your plans for the coming one to five years? Well, it depends a bit about my job. I'm single at the moment and I want to use this opportunity to see the world a bit more. I've spoken with my manager and she has helped me to find a temporary position in India for two years. I've accepted and I'm really excited and I'll move to India the 1st of April. What are you planning to do with the place you live? One of my friends will rent my flat for two years. Great for you. Do you own the place or is it rented? Oh, it is mine. Do you have a mortgage loan and... And where and how much? I still owe the bank across the street about $150,000. I was lucky enough that my parents saved money for me and paid a sum up front. You're lucky. Do you think I can get a copy of your last payment to incorporate this in my calculations for you? Yes, of course.
And how many of your present expenses will your friend cover? She will cover all my costs. And how much is that? Well, that's about 1200 a month. Fantastic. And what will your cost be in India? The company has a flat for me and I'll pay around 300 per month for that, much less than what I pay now. At the same time, I'll get a raise of about 1000 per month for this job. I will, of course, have some travel expenses when I go back home for holidays. I get three free trips per year where I'll go for larger company events and I'll try to connect that with my holidays. It sounds like there's a lot of reason for you to save money for later in life. Well, as you can probably see from my account, I haven't done that much. Given that you actually managed to save up, what would you use the money for? I am pretty happy with my flat and I'm not much into cars, but my dream is to buy a sailing boat. It is a dream that will most probably not come true, since I'm dreaming of a pretty costly boat. How much do you think the boat of your dreams will cost? At least 200,000. Besides the boat, what else are you dreaming of? I don't think I need anything more but that. I spent all my money on sailing trips. When I retire, I would love to have enough money to move south and live on a boat. That sounds nice. Can I ask you what your salary level will be for the next two years? Yes, of course. It will be 10,000 a month. And what do you believe your expenses will be in India per month? Not much. The flat is at the plant and meals are served all through the day. I don't really know. Will you go on sailing trips within these two years? Unfortunately not. I will go on holidays, but I want to spend that with my parents. These two years will be an experience for me, where I can get to know new cultures, so that is what I will do now. I'll get the opportunity to travel in India for the company. Let me guess on your expenses in India while doing my calculations. Do you believe that you will change or repair anything in your flat going forward? I would like to change my kitchen one day, though. It is a bit old and worn out. How much do you think that will cost? Well, last year I looked at some prices and I think it was about 10,000. I chose a sailing trip instead. Good choice. What else would you like to change? Well, nothing more actually. The flat is quite good as it is. Great then. Since you're not much into cars, how do you transport yourself? I like to ride my bike, so if I continue in my present company, I will continue doing that. Let's hope you do. It seems to me that you like it a lot. Just to make sure, are there any kids in your life or any other family members you have to take care of financially? I would like kids, but first of all I need to find the right man. And if so, I would not be prepared the first couple of years anyway. My parents are still working, and I don't expect that they need my financial help at all. Okay. We've now been talking about how you live, your transportation, your job, and your family. I also know about your dreams for your retirement, but need to know if you've started up savings for your retirement. The company I work for is German, and they have pension schemes for employees. I have an account in Deutsche Bank for that, but I don't know how much I've saved up. If you have the possibility to give me the papers you got from the bank at New Year, I can calculate on that too. I'll try and find that. Good. Besides the bonus, I can see your account and the pension schemes in Deutsche Bank. Do you have any savings or loans anywhere else? No, that's it. Okay. When you now go to India, how will you pay the bills you have at home? I hope to get my mom to pay my bills from my account. How would you like to get internet access to your account and access to pay your bills? Oh, that would be much better. I would like that. I know this opportunity, but haven't come around to order it. 
Well, let me order it right away for you, and I can show you how it works when we meet next time. You have two credit cards, and that will work fine in the larger cities in India. Is that what you need? Yes, that works fine. I use my credit cards everywhere. The last area to talk about is then your coverage in case of illness and accidents. Do you have any coverage? No, I don't. I should have, though, and especially now. Let me show you how it can be done when we meet the next time. Is there anything more I should know about before I do my calculations for you? No, I think that's it. Okay, let me sum it up then. What I've heard is that you have a flat that you want to keep and you want to change the kitchen one day. Besides that, your dreams is to be able to someday buy a large boat. Sometimes in the future you would like to raise a family, but that's not now. You still owe about 150000 on the flat, and that is the only loan you have. When it comes to saving, you have your bonus and your pension scheme. You have a lot of possibilities to save up, and especially for the next two years. When you give me papers on your pension scheme and your loan, I will be able to give you a suggestion for how you can plan your financials at the future. How does that sound? Great. I'm looking forward to hear your suggestions. Since you will soon move to India, what do you say about us meeting next week, same time, at same place, and that you deliver me the two papers within the next two days? That would be great. It's really been interesting. See you soon then. Yes, and thanks. The bank advisor Brad has now done some calculations on Dana's economy. And now comes the second meeting. Nice to see you again. Take a seat and I'll show you what I've calculated. I'm eager to hear about it. The first thing I can see is that you had a good start within your pension scheme. We could easily adjust and make the payments higher. But I also hear that you have other priorities too. Did I understand that right for now? Yes, that's right. The most important is that you need coverage in case of something happens to you. A life insurance is a good thing when you have a family and for now you should consider whether or not you want your parents to get a payment in case of the worst thing happens to you. That is not necessary at all. Okay. I made three suggestions for you for coverage if something happens to you and you're in need of health care and un or are unable to work for a period of time or for the rest of your life. In my calculations for your financial possibilities as a whole, I have incorporated one of the suggestions. When I have shown the overview, we can get back to choosing your coverage. Is that okay? Yes, that's fine. As you can see from the calculation, I have listed your bonus and savings I've guessed that you are able to do each month for the next two years in India. I have a new account here for your savings that will give you a better interest. Since my calculations are based on that you want to spend your savings after two years, I have put your risk assessments to be low. Your final savings will help you finance the kitchen you want and more than half of the boat. When you return, you have paid a bit off on your mortgage loan and we will consider you and your loan low risk, especially when seeing your ability to save. This means that if you want to loan money to buy your dream boat after two years in India, we will support you with a loan. Wow. I calculated on payment for the loan compared to your expenditures on your boat trips. If I calculate on a two to three year loan, you will pay less on the loan than you pay for your boat trips. How does that? Amazing. Now it's your turn to talk. Which part of my suggestion would you like to act upon? All of it. I mean, I want to save up for the boat and I can see that it's possible now. This is definitely what I want to do. The kitchen sounds nice too and I don't mind spending all the savings at once. I'm surprised. But I can see that it's better to buy the boat immediately instead of wasting more money on the boat trips. What I pay from now on will be for me. It sounds really good. I'm, I'm pretty excited. And what do you think about my interpretation of you being low risk in your risk assessment? You're probably right. 
I do not want to risk anything. I want my boat and I want to make sure I get it. Okay. Let's look at the coverage in case if something happens to you. I have... Don't bother. I trust that this is a good suggestion you put in the calculations. I don't mind as long as I'm covered somehow. Nothing is going to happen to me anyway, you know. Okay, I'll give you the papers to read, so if and when you have the time and interest, you can read it. Fine with me. A small wish for me is that you could consider your pension account moved to our bank and continue the payments here. Is that a wish you would like to grant? Yes, of course. I don't know anybody in Deutsche Bank. I just did what the company suggested. Thank you for that. Is there anything else you have on your mind before we come to sign the papers and I can show you how to make your payments on the Internet Bank from India? No, I'm just happy right now. Great to hear that this was a help for you. Here are the papers. Music